Hi, I'm Jude Hotep, the Goddess Astrologer and uh, Alchemical Initiatrix. We're going to get into the chart for today. It's a really um, otherworldly day. I'll show you the chart here, share this with you. Um, I'm going to pull some cards. So this is a daily divine feminine astro intuitive where I pull cards and go over the astrology for the day and uh, talk to you about the different energies that are going on. So we just had the solar eclipse on uh, the weekend on Saturday, and you might have feel, uh, might, might have felt extra tired. You might have felt anxious because of this Uranus here um, at 14 degrees with uh, just all of this electric energy, all of this energy that is very much quantum and moving and shifting so many things. It's, it's, un, it's the unexpected. Uranus is this outer planet with Neptune and Pluto. And so it's very otherworldly. It's the higher octave of Mercury. It's, um, unexpected shifts, things that we don't expect. And it's higher, higher consciousness, higher mind. So it's that higher octave of Mercury. So it's a higher mind. And, um, and we want to be aware that, that, um, <clears throat> that it's also the intellect. So there could be a lot of buzzy mind drama going on this weekend. You could have felt that. And most likely you've popped out the other side at some point and you might've had um, to go through kind of some difficulty, some shadow to get through that and to come out the other side. But this morning, um, I'm recording this on Sunday. On Sunday morning, there was this beautiful conjunction between Jupiter and Venus at 28 degrees Pisces. And I talked about that on the weekend forecast, but, um, but it was so gorgeous in the sky. It was just so brilliant. Jupiter's behind Venus. And it's just this big, bright, bright, brilliant star. You know, it's just so beautiful. And then Mars close by. And so I hope you got a chance to see that sometime. Um, think about four, anywhere from four to 6 a.m. Probably you could have been able to see it maybe um, three, but definitely like four to six, somewhere in there. But it was so beautiful. And it's Pisces is this ethereal energy. It's this really fine, dreamy, imaginative energy, but with everything as shadow and light. So we don't want to misinterpret things as so much greater than they are. And we also don't want to not see the beauty all around us and the magic that's all around us. And so it's really like really looking at the mind and how you're looking at things because, because Jupiter has, um, because this Pisces energy has a semi- has a sextile to the Taurus energy. It's not exact, but um, definitely with the node, it is exact um, with Neptune and the node. And so, well, not exact, but it's closer orb with Neptune and the node of this sextile of like needing to reach for spirit to be on destiny to, and like, what is your destiny? The destiny for all of humanity right now is this Taurus. So what is your destiny in relationship to that? Like, what are you building and growing? What are your goals? And how have things shifted to where more clarity has come in? Because you want to really, with this energy, this energy is about the ultimate clarity that's coming from soul, not the mind, and is coming from that ethereal higher mind that 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 the soul is filtered through and so with today monday um we have this t-square still going on to saturn and the nodes but if i take out some of this stuff just so you can see it a little bit better um um you see all of these blue septiles here and septiles and then the these black ones are are semi septiles and septiles are an otherworldly vibe it's very much otherworldly you could think like david bowie it's like very much um like something something very much not what we're used to. And this is amazing. This is great energy because we want to innovate at the highest. We want to do things we've never done before. We don't want to be in old patterns. So anywhere where you feel like you're in an old pattern, you want to break that pattern, interrupt that and move on. You really want to be looking at your mind and how your mind will try to convince you of the stories, try to convince you of its narrations, try to convince you of issues and problems, like trying to say, trying to start problems almost, trying to go into old 
places where you had problems before to recreate it again in your mind. So be aware what the mind is doing because there's a lot of trickiness with that right now because there's a lot of mental energy in a way with Uranus here. Like Uranus and Taurus is this mental energy, but for something worthwhile. And so it'll fight in your mind for that worthwhile thing. When really, if you just sink into the love, the divine feminine of all this Taurus, which is it's mother earth, it's goddess earth. It's the divine feminine. It's stillness and gentleness. It is um, also just very much determined and focused kind of steady towards the goal. And it just keeps going and keeps going. And the moon is moved into Gemini. And, and so it's, it's this energy with, with Mercury, Gemini's ruler here in Gemini at two degrees and the moon at four degrees in Gemini. There's this mind bouncing off the emotions, emotions bouncing off the mind and it going back and forth, back and forth. And so our thoughts create our emotions and our emotions drive our actions and our actions get our manifestations and our creations in our life. Right. And uh, if you come into alchemical goddess, you learn um, it, it's, sh it's shamanistic astrological coaching where you get to see your chart on the screen your soul chart and your karmic chart two different charts actually and you get to get to know yourself at the deepest level your actual blueprint what you came in here to um to 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 do and learn and grow and how to heal and we heal all of the issues in the chart because the chart always has wounds and issues and that's why we're spinning on the karmic wheel we're repeating the same dumb shit we don't have the relationship we want you don't have the money we want we don't have that you know and so we heal this stuff in the chart so you're no longer inhibited by the things that are standing like holding you back and of course, even though I'm coaching at the level of soul, we still deal with amazing spiritual gig bag full of your ability to manage your mind because we will always have a human mind in this life and being spiritually awakened, being a, not just a spiritual entrepreneur, but a light goddess where we have a big mission to anchor divine feminine light into this planet to wake humanity up to love, to their power, to their self-worth in whatever way you do that you know, personally in your work. But but we have this big mission. And so, um, and so it's, it's different. The sacred calling is different that the mind can really get, make it really tough to move forward. And that's also, and so you can apply for alchemical goddess by going to the goddess There's a link below too. And you can come into a goddess call, which is absolutely complimentary um, to for us to talk about that because being able to manage your brain and learn these two understandings, the, the difference between emotions, the difference between thoughts and emotions, the difference between circumstances and situations and facts and thoughts, because we think our thoughts are truth. And when we think they're truth, we fall that those thoughts down rabbit holes that don't serve us and really screw our life over in ways that are just unnecessary. We get tons of lessons and we can come back around and hopefully we teach it and we share it. But but it's really like we can live the dream life right now. This Pisces energy with Mars here um, is wanting us to take action only on things that are of soul, not of the mind, only of things that are of of spirit, of ethereal, of our intuition, not our mind. And so it's taking action. And, and, and Mars is, is, is just had enough with anything that's really not of the highest octave of spirit. However, it can take action for the karmic bullshit because Pisces is the karma. And so the shadow's gonna come up. The thing is, is that I hope most of you have been clearing and doing that that powerful dark goddess work over the last two years, particularly, but, but really going in. Because the thing is, when you go in to heal, you have maybe one to three years of the bulk of your stuff when we're talking about this era where this time, this golden, this golden time that we have where all of you know humanity is awakening at the highest levels more of on mass and it keeps rolling out and uh and we also have we also have this time where we are supported in ending past life karma and healing past lives because we are acting out stuff in this life that is from literally past lives literally and it's crazy. It's crazy how you can have been like controlled in a past life because somebody didn't want to lose your love. And so they, they mind controlled you and they controlled you. And you can bring that subconsciously into this life and be so scared of men and so scared to love and so scared to, to, and feel like someone's always trying to control you. And 
then if somebody is slightly controlling, then it's like, wham, it's like, you know, to a hundred all of a sudden, instead of just this isolated incident, this person behaving in this way. Right. And so we, we want to heal all of this stuff. And if you look at that, you actually get to heal it. You actually get to move forward and do powerful work in this world. And you're meant to, we need you. And so this moon and, and the Mercury can have the emotions bouncing off of the thoughts and vice and, and vice versa. Like, and so it's like, we really want to look at what we're thinking and look at what we're feeling and feel the emotions. It's okay to feel the emotions, identify them, name them. Um, this T square to Saturn, Saturn's asking us to disconnect from what doesn't serve us, whether it's bad food, whether it is people that just it's okay but it's not that soul kindred you know connection because you're you're not creating that space to go get those kindred connections those soul connections that feed your light and feed your soul and spirit is wanting us to have those amazing connections right now and and saturn kind of titrates Saturn says, you know, yes, we're on destiny. It's a big dream. We're growing and creating, but like, let's, let's, you know, make sure that when we're growing the garden that we have straight rows, because if everything's planted all over the place, we won't know where the asparagus is and the beets are and the kohlrabi is and the lettuce is, and we won't be able to find it. And it'll be 10 times the amount of time in just to go find the veg that you want. And so why don't we do nice straight rows? You know, my grandpa, and grandma always had this massive garden and my grandpa was always like very nice neat rows you know and he'd have the strings and the stakes in the ground and just make them so beautiful and uh when he was gone my grandma in the last like year or two it was kind of it was kind of interesting <laughs> where things started to go um but uh but it's that it's it's like saturn's like you know let's do it efficiently let's let's do it like in a way that makes sense let let's make it have take less time let's make it be beautiful which is taurus taurus is beauty and so venus having moved into aries today at zero degrees here at noon uh where we're at on the on, on pacific time it's like you know this aries energy technically venus is at detriment in aries but it's this energy of i know what i like i know what i don't like I know who I am. I know my identity and Venus is love relationships, harmony, it's beauty, it's your self-worth and your self-value. And, and so Venus is very much today, you might feel very exposed when it comes to what you like, what you don't, your value and expressing that and being able to communicate that. So there's going to be some otherworldly vibes in the air. Know that we are healing Chiron wounds. Chiron is now uh, semi sextile to Uranus. And so semi sextiles are a little bit of a hard aspect um, because they can't really see each other because they're just a sign apart. And so it's like Uranus, this awakening energy, this higher consciousness energy is kind of. Um, is kind of not really getting along with this like identity and the wound, like wanting to heal the wound, but yet wanting to have higher consciousness. So it's like, okay, it's, it's this, it's this idea that we need to go through the shadow and let that, let the emotions come through us to be able to pop into the higher consciousness and be in that great place. And, and Black Lilith here, she is and cancer. And, and so this can be very much where you feel like you have given your power over when it comes to the home of your heart and your emotions. And it comes to, and it comes to, you know, your roots and your foundation. So there could be a lot of stuff coming up around, you know, childhood, what happened during that time, if things aren't resolved and healed, it could be a lot of transformation coming up to churn up so that the transformation, death and rebirth can happen. Lilith is very much about the transformation and about multiple phases of that transformation where you do go through a falling apart and everything breaking down. And the phoenix doesn't rise out of the garden, it rises out of the ashes. So it really is this death that you can go through. So if you're dealing with that, it's okay. And just realize that's what's happening. And there's a semi septile to Neptune. So it can feel like, oh, I don't know what to, what's going on. Some confusion between like old wounds and your connection to 
um, the higher realms and spirit and not understanding maybe what's happening and just ask your angels and guides for clarification and for clarity, do some journaling, take a walk. You know, this is energy where you definitely want to take great care of your body. You definitely want to eat well. You definitely want to exercise and do the things that keep you straight. Use your spiritual gig bag in all of your tools. We have Buffalo spirit, but it's in reverse. The abundant universe will provide um, Buffalo spirit has a heart on her forehead and feathers. You know, it's the Buffalo like that the native peoples um, gave praise to the meat, even though they're going to eat it. So they held two disparate ideas at the same time that, yes, we're going to eat this animal that was alive and a sentient animal, but also we're going to honor the animal for the life that it's given for us to go on and honor spirit and the whole cycle of everything. And that the abundant universe does provide in realizing that your resources is not just the way you've been thinking that it is. That's one of the issues right now in humanity that we think our resources are only this one way. And that's part of the problem because it's not allowing us to be open-minded, to innovate, to try new things, to do the experimentation, like do the experiments, see what data that you get from that. And if you want to tweak, if you want to pivot, if you want to macro pivot and do something completely different. So definitely um, do the experiments, try new things, innovate. This is a time to do everything different, to try things you haven't tried before. It's not a time to do the same old patterns. And that means everything, like where you eat, you know, all your routines, all the things that fed you. It's a time to really be fully resourced as woman so that you can put out the most amazing beauty of, of light work, light goddess work in this world to really change this world. Like we are here to do that. This is... Um, absolutely the dream life but it's no joke you know it's it's like this both we have coast we have um crow spirit which is all about the magic and um it's about the the ethereal it's about creating with spirit allowing spirit to come in to guide allowing your intuition to come in to guide and not doing it with the mind again you know very apropos with the astrology that that this is a time where the mind can really be exacerbated, especially for like Pisces, especially for certain signs. It's a little bit extra right now. I'm going to go over that. Um, I'm definitely going over that on the sun sign horoscopes, which are up on the light goddess podcast, the links below, and it's on iTunes and Spotify. If you don't know the podcast is daily and I cover all of the range of topics that we deal with in alchemical goddess, my coaching program. Also, um, I deal with the mind, the emotions with being on a spiritual entrepreneurship and soulpreneurship and being with the spiritual ascension and all of the things going on, um, I, I talk about money and financial flow and abundance and then your channel and being in that clear, beautiful channel of your light goddess work. And I talk about the divine feminine and, and the work that we're doing in the world and how to reclaim our heritage as women. I go over goddesses. It's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing podcast with over 353 episodes. So I hope you will um, we'll check that out. And the sun signs are every Monday. Um, we have Wombat Spirit no place like home. I was talking to you about home, like the home that's inside, because our home, if we try to get it from the outside, we'll always end up having those breakdowns. And it's not that we won't have a breakdown. Otherwise, it's that they won't be as intense. They won't have as much gravity or, or as much intensity, and they won't be like breakdowns. So just be emotions like you're frustrated or man just you can't just get comfortable or it's just a very quincunx energy or something you know it'll be like that it won't be these breakdowns and these breakdowns can be beautiful though use them as a resource they are as the learning but the home is inside your emotional security so are you working on your emotional skill set are you working towards emotional mastery because it's it's a it's a thing we master it's a to be able to feel the whole range of human emotions and to be okay with all of them, the feeling of vulnerable, the feeling of insecurity, you know, those feelings can make you do weird shit if you're not having emotional mastery and know how to release them, know how to feel them, know how to get the messages for why they're there and why they're coming up and to do that beautiful work. That's the work we do in Alchemical Goddess. Also come into the Light Goddess Sisterhood if you'd like. We have um, full moon ceremonies, 
and uh, we are all doing this work together. So you're around, it's easier to be strong when you're around strong women. So we are all doing this work together. We have porcupine spirit, time for beginner's mind, meaning that it's okay not to know. The ego is the one that's like, I gotta know, or let me have a superiority inferiority complex. Um, that's rampant in society right now, the superiority and inferiority complex. People feel inferior, so they have to act superior, which is like the chip on the shoulder. Um, it's like, I got to tell you it all, and I got to know everything and let make sure you know that I know. It, it presents in a lot of different ways and a lot of strange ways and all of humanity must dismantle this inside themselves there's not very many people that that really don't have that to let go and release um maybe some but i i don't think it's the majority i think that we in society are dealing with our self-worth and that's why the north node is in taurus right now it's all about our self-worth so it's about raising our self-worth to absolute highest and deepest that it can go so what does that mean for you like really think about that and having beginner's mind is like being okay with not knowing being okay with sucking at it so if you're working on a project in your business or you're working at a new piece of social media or a new piece of copy or a new marketing thing or a new or just your business in general and the whole concept of taking it deeper or starting to get serious about it and really going full in in a more serious determined way you know that determination of taurus it's okay to suck at it like be willing to suck at it all the way until you don't because like realize that you're learning and you're growing you're like the thing is is that we're always the master and we're always learning so we have some things that we do really well and know here's the here's this awesome you know thing to really understand is that when we raise our bar of like we just got more knowledge we studied some stuff and we can't yet actually implement it and put it out in the world quite yet, but we know it and it's up in our mind, we will sometimes have this kind of like feeling of insecurity or low self-worth because we've grown and we've jumped and we've quantum leaped, but our actually, our putting it into action ability, our implementation ability hasn't quite matched up yet. So there can be this feeling of, of not knowing and, and this feeling of, of inadequacy. And so realize that that's what that that's what's going on, that you're always going to be growing and growing and growing. And if you can let yourself grow and just be learning and learning, I mean, look at astrology, for example, it's five PhDs in one, it's a lifelong study, I'll be studying for the, you know, I have teachers that have been doing it for 40 years, and they still learn new things every day, literally. So it's a, you know, it's easy to, especially with certain astrologers that have been doing it for decades and decades, it's easy to, to feel, to maybe feel inadequate sometimes or, or whatnot, but um, whatever your craft is, maybe it's healing, maybe it's card reading, maybe it's um, coaching, it's easy, but it's, but it's not true. You have your own beautiful transmission and light and the channel is what comes through for your client in that moment. So it's okay to have beginner's mind. It's okay to suck at it. Um, be willing to do so. You have parent spirit, watch your words. So it's in reverse saying that the mind is really prevalent right now with people. It's really in the collective that the mind is kind of taking over. It's convincing you that it's the truth when it's just the mind, it's just thoughts. And if you want to learn that work, come into Alchemical Goddess Coaching. You will, excuse me, we will use your chart. We will go deep. We will um, bust you through all of the the blocks and the inhibitions holding you back from making the money that you want and being in the soulmate relationships that you want and doing your powerful light goddess work in the world. Um, and you will learn how to manage, how to deal with the mind and be in your intuition and in your soul instead. Um, the mind can really convince us that that what it's saying is true. It can really be, it can really feel like it's more powerful than you are. And it's about you taking over your power and your sovereignty of your mind and realizing that the mind is kind of like this receiving tower and it's not real. It's, it's not the truth. Um, thoughts are not truth. Fox spirit, and this is very feminine, divine feminine um, sign and animal, you know, and it's about thinking, think being quick on your feet um, being able to be adaptable, to adapt to the moment that we realizing that we respond to challenge as it occurs, we don't have to be anxious in advance. And this energy with Uranus can really cause a lot of anxiety. So we don't have to be anxious in advance. We, we approach challenge as it comes and 
realize that spirit's got your back, that co-creation card that we first got, and it's all in divine timing, that it's all coming together. So I hope this video helped you today. Um, you can check out my, my Instagram where I'm doing almost near dailies, um, doing some card readings and some astrology there as well. It's at Peace Hotep. And uh, check out the White Goddess podcast. It's daily for you. And, uh, and please come into Light Goddess Sisterhood. We want you there. We want you to be a part of the amazingness that's there. Um, we are stronger as women when we're together supporting each other. There's full moon ceremonies. They're sitting in sacred space and connecting, and it's really deep bonds of sisterhood. Um, it's just, there's so much there. So you can look at it at thegoddessastrologer.com. If you'd like to book an astrology reading, you can do that at thegoddessastrologer.com. Sending you so much love, and I'll talk to you on the next daily.